I'm Lance Yelmington for CyberCountry.com. Remember the day as a kid where you had to make a choice between a musical career and an athletic career? Well, me either. But one person that did have to make that choice is Rachel Holder. She'll tell us more about her career and why music was the right choice for her. I'm Rachel Holder. <laughs> now, Rachel, um, where do you come from? How, how did you get into this? Well, I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I've been singing since I could talk. And um, I grew up doing competitions, talent shows, events around Chattanooga, you know, doing the small local things. And then I met my vocal coach at 10 years old, you know. And then at 13, I got my first real job in Pigeon Forge, and my mom and I moved up there. And at thir when I was 13 and 14, I did over 800 shows. It, it was absolutely crazy. I really don't know how I did it at 13. <laughs> <laughs> but um, after that, I moved back to Chattanooga, and then I made a big old move to Nashville. Not actually move, but big step in my career move. Yeah, say big step in your career. Um, what kind of... Uh, generation or what kind of um, all roots do you have that got you propelled to go into country music? Um, growing up around the house singing all the time and um, my mom introduced me to country music and gospel music when I was younger and I'd go around the house singing it when I was like five years old. My mom has videotapes of me singing it. So my mom kind of introduced me to the country music world and then she introduced me to Dolly Parton which she's <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> she's everything to me. <laughs> so the, but uh, yeah, the apex of country talent, right there. Oh goodness, <laughs> woo, Dolly. <laughs> but um, yeah, my mom introduced me to it, and just grew up listening to country and gospel, and I grew up singing in church too. Wow. Well, naturally, that's a great way to start out. Um, now, the thing is, you don't necessarily have any kind of um, roots specifically in country because. Your musical roots come from a lot of different sources, like a lot of us uh, nowadays. You have pop uh, acts that you like, as, yes. well, as well as country acts. Um, you want to expand on that? Well, um, I've always, I, I, I like all genres. I have like, there's one favorite song of all genres. Uh, I like Lady Gaga. <laughs> Goodness. But, you know, the thing is, is that she's different and she's made an impact. And I guess you can actually compare that to country music because you got to be different to be an uh, up-and-coming artist and um, being that I'm in a country and trying to be different and you know I try to have my own style I guess you can actually relate to every genre and not just country mm -hmm. and um, no but I love all genres and um, I, I, I would love to do a pop crossover one day. So there's a lot of people you bring up being different there's a lot of people that don't understand you can't be uh, part of a cookie cutter process, you know, because yeah. there's a lot of people that said, well, that worked for somebody, but uh, that'll, I'm sure that'll work for my style, and it's a miss every time. Um, what got you thinking originally as you started out? I mean, what, what made you uh, understand that early on? Um, I don't know, really. Uh, I guess, you know, being around adults and seeing how it's actually, how it actually happens, and, you know, um, listening to so many people and studying so many people like Dolly and her interviews, Dolly and her business side, um, that you have your music side and then you have the business side. And you got to learn both when you're an artist because, um, you know, there's so many ties into it. It's not just all about singing sometimes. It's all about, you know, is this the best thing for me? Is this, is, is this you know? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite moment on stage? My favorite moment's on stage, um, interacting with the crowd. I love people. I love interacting with people. So, and every time you get up on stage, it's just that sort of yeah that you get up there. And yeah, it was like when I go on stage, the adrenaline, adrenaline starts pumping. I get excited. I'm like, gosh, I love it so much. And you're like totally free when you get up there. It's like nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop me when I'm on stage. Nobody. So, um, you know, I love interacting. And I want my main goal is for people to lose themselves in my music for however long the concert is. And it's always to make somebody smile or somebody laugh or enjoy themselves and forget all their worries in the world for at least how long of the period of the concert is. 30 minutes, an hour, it doesn't matter. That's my goal. Now, with a goal like that, how hard is it to pick the right song for you? The right song for me? Um, you know, we, we do some covers, what people know, so they can, you know, sing along if they don't know my original music. And uh, hopefully they will one day. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, I try to 
appeal to young people and the older audience. I try to appeal to everybody. And it's not really that hard. It's just, you know, something that I like. If I like it, then, and if it fits my voice, then yeah, let's do it. But if it's, if you try it, you like it, but it doesn't fit your voice, then, you know, it might get tossed out. You just gotta find that perfect song for you to perform live. Why should somebody come to see you or buy one of your CDs? Or download something? Hmm. Because I think they would enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of, that's really hard. Um, because I have a different sound. I'm not just like everybody else. And I'm personal. And uh, I like to get my, to know my fans as well as my, my friends around me. I want to meet new people each and every day. And I like it on Facebook and everything. I love interacting with them. I'm always writing people back. Because I want to get to know people. Because that's what I do. I get to know people. They love my music and I love them. Well, I'm Rachel Holder. Be sure to check out my new single, Chocolate. Also, be sure to write me on Facebook and Twitter and check out my website, www.rachelholder.com.